So because there are many firms pumping gasoline and it's hard to find another water supply in your area, right? The substitution, so you can find substitution for gasoline. There are other total shell, right? Caltex. So, but there is only one water supply in your area. Like Shanghai water supply company that pumps water to your uh, you know apartments not the drinking water right because drinking water has other brands so you can reduce water uses by buying water efficient showers reduce watering your lawn you cannot reduce water consumption greatly you cannot stop bathing you're gonna stop you know washing your you know uh, uh, face and brushing your teeth right you know washing utensils right so demand is not greatly reduced so you can go to the next gasoline station to refill the car tank possible yes so the difference in the market structure shapes pricing and production decisions right why this elasticity occur why the product is elastic and why the product is inelastic that also depends on the shape of the market structure so we are now officially design uh, you know defining what is competitive market a competitive market has many buyers and many sellers trading identical products so that each buyer and seller is a price taker now this is these these words are really interesting and so and also very important and key words here to define competitive market so number one what are the characteristics of competitive market we will also learn but let me explain here Number one is there are many or several buyers and also many sellers, right? And what is the tagline? They are selling identical means the product is 100% same, right? And what they are called at the end, they are called price ticker, right? So guys, just think about that. Think, for example, think yourself, you're a buyer, right? What if you go to the market, if you know that the price is $10 or 10 yuan, you go to the market, I mean, you know, one shop and the seller said, I'm gonna sell you at twenty dollar. What is your reaction? You will see that, you know. Look, I don't want to buy from here. I will go to the next shop to buy things, right? So what if two to four people come to this market and they find out that he's charging higher price for the same product? They will move now to another shop to buy. At ten dollar, right? When this kind of behavior happens, what happened to the seller? It means the it means the buyer forced him to reduce its price, the market price, which is ultimately he will be changing its price to ten dollar, and these people will go to that one as well, right? So in that case, the buyers they don't want to pay much higher so they force sellers to reduce the price right in the same way sellers can also force the buyers to purchase at a certain at, 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 at a certain price for example let me just raise here for example if the market price is ten dollar and there are three and there are three buyers who come to this market and say look we are three people we are buying from you you can sell me at two right what will seller say seller will say that i cannot sell you you may have to leave you can go to the next shop and the next shop also sells that ten dollar so the buyers they don't have any option to reduce the price right and why seller did that you can think of that you know three people are coming to my shop and buying why i said them you know why i say them to go to the next shop right because we know that there are 
many buyers we don't care about these three buyers right similarly for for buyers who want to buy and the seller want to sell high they know that there are several or many sellers who are selling these goods right so I don't care if he sells at high price I go to the next shop and buy the goods over there so in that case no one influence the price can buyer influence the price no can seller influence the price no in that case in that sense both are called price taker they take the price whatever in the market they will survive in the market if they can produce at the market price if they cannot produce at the market price they will go out from the business so let's see that so buyers and sellers must accept the price de determined by the market so the aim of this lecture is to understand how firms make production decisions in competitive market and what is the tagline here just that, that we just learned in our previous you know this uh, you know two slides in which we start this chapter that we want to find out the maximum quantity that we use every total cost or total cost to find out max profit right so the key of every market is to find out max quantity so the meaning of this competition that we just learned from our previous lecture we just make it into three points that there are many buyers and many sellers the goods offered by the various sellers are largely the same or identical products the third one is firms can freely enter or exit the market right if you can produce at ten dollar you can open the shop at anywhere you can contact the buyers and say that look I am also selling at that price you can buy from me or if you cannot produce at 10 and you want to increase the price to 12 nobody will buy from them from you and you will have to shut down your production or you will go out from the business and there is no restriction from the government there is no restriction from the buyers nothing right it's a free decision right if other firms can produce at 10 they will jump into this market and try to cash that, that opportunity try to drive away your customers from you right just like that so three conditions or three characteristics of competitive firm is that there are many sellers many buyers right number one condition is here fulfill second one is the goods are largely the same or identical products and the third one is that there is free entry and exit condition so as a, as a result of its characteristics the perfectly competitive firm what we just learned from our previous slide is that the action of any single buyer or seller in the market has negligible impact on the market price right it means one seller said that oh, okay I want to sell at a higher price he will lose customer and he is forced to sell at the market price what if a customer wants to buy at a very low price or low price the sellers will say that excuse us you can go to the next shop and try again your you know luck and nobody will want to sell you at lower price right so it means they don't have any negotiable power right in that case both are called price takers so we know that the economic objective of the firm is to maximize profit or the gap between total revenue and total cost and we know that there are two ways to do that either to increase total revenue either to decrease total cost then you can have maximum profit and how we calculate the total revenue price multiplied by quantity right so if you understand the concept please answer this then we do it together pause the video and try to answer it okay so if a comp if a firm is perfectly competitive market triples the number of units of output sold then total revenue will be so remember what is the total revenue formula price into quantity sold right whatever is the price if they triple the quantity sold 
So what is the mathematical property? 3 into so their revenue will be also tripled, right? So answer is C, right? And here we go, the average revenue, so which tells us how much revenue a firm received from a typical unit sold. So how we can find out that? The average revenue is calculated by uh, dividing the total revenue divided by the quantity we call this average revenue so let's explore this in perfect competition rather i have to say that in every kind of market the average revenue is equal to the price how because there is a mathematical property that is the average revenue is equal to total revenue divided by quantity and we know that total revenue is equal to price into quantity and quantity quantity cancels we just find out the average revenue is equal to price right if the question asks that what is the average revenue of this company we just say that the market price that's it and the marginal revenue which is a change in revenue divided by change in quantity right so for competitive firms average revenue and the marginal revenue equals to the price now here is a tagline that we already know that that the average revenue is equal to price and now we are also saying that it is also equal to the marginal revenue for this one we need to prove that so let's prove it 